Jenny, I'm Doug Coyle. Uh, I appreciate you spending time today. Could you tell us a little bit about your pathway into rugby? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for having me on. Uh, this is great. Uh, I stumbled upon rugby my freshman year at Penn State at the freshman involvement fair. I had no idea what rugby was before then. And then it sh I just fell in love with the game. I was always getting yellow card in soccer or fouling out in basketball, mm -hmm. so it was a really natural transition for me. And then after, after university, um, I went to grad school and I stopped playing for a little bit. And then I started, I got my first job in Chicago and I played for Ch Chicago North Shore before they were the, in the WPL. And then I looked to the, um, the WPL to up my game as I was training to play for the Eagles, uh, both in sevens and fifteens. And I played for the Glendale Raptors slash Merlins, and now they are known as the Colorado Gray Wolves. Right. And all the while I was refereeing, mostly sevens because I was playing fifteens all the time. Mm -hmm. And I really credit that to my game knowledge, adding to my game knowledge and understanding the law, understanding how to approach referees. So I find it very useful and I would encourage any player to get their L1 and just get out there because it gives you a completely different perspective on the game. Yeah. Um, and then um, after I retired from playing, I was asked to be one of the assistant coaches for the women's national team. So again, that referee background really comes in handy for analysis. Now, the, uh, did the pathway uh, from uh, WPL help you uh, gain entry to the national team? I actually started playing, um, I was captain of the national side when I was playing for Chicago North Shore, but I can tell you the WPL absolutely helped me improve my game and to be able to compete for a spot with the Eagles. What are some of the demands in playing in that league? Uh, it seems like travel would be a major one. Travel is a major one. And I and know finances. the Yes, finances. The WPL Development Board, um, you can go to chuff.org and donate to the WPL to um, invest in the future of the league, but they're they're looking at creating a sustainable structure, and which is so important because we need our domestic players to, to really improve and get that real-time pressure. It, om it almost seems like uh, teams are, when they have to uh, fly out from coast to coast, they're flying out, I don't know if on a red eye, they're arriving, they're playing the game, and they're flying out in the red eye again. Yes, it's it's really tough on the players. It demands a lot for them physically, mentally, financially. So we're really trying to work on um, sustainable structures and improve that so the players don't have to be out of pocket because we want them to be able to be professional and to, to not have to worry about that kind of stuff. Now, uh, a number of U.S. Uh, national team players are now playing in uh, uh, the U.K. Mm -hmm. uh, they're playing professionally. That opens doors for being seen in in this Premier League. Yes, absolutely. We have 22 players over in the Allianz Premier League, and they are doing that because they're they're playing so many games there, and the, to get that game time pressure. And I, I really credit all the players who are still in the domestic WPL league because they've really stepped up, and they're they're also competing for spots. So we have we had a couple Eagles on the field who are in that World Cup pool today. So it's, it's valuable to get that game time. And um, we, we want the WPL to be like the Allianz in, in a few years. Since you uh, are a USA referee, what, what are some of the challenges that you face? Well, I mean, obviously nobody does this for the money. So obviously that all that travel and um, having to, to, to spend a little bit financially to, to get to games, to, to get those opportunities. So that, that is a challenge, and with the professionalization of the league, we're hoping to support the referees as, as well. Well, thank you for uh, coming on in the interview, and good luck the rest of the season. I thank you. Thank this you. This is great. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.